Hello there, my name is Daniel, and uh, this is Jordan. Hi. And today we are going to be looking at Jordan's vision. So you notice Jordan has some strange eyeballs. They're very unique, but they're also really special, not because they're big, but also because they glow in the dark. Ooh. That's amazing, right? This is going to enable us to see his eyes better in the dark. This is our two-dimensional model of the eye. This over here represents the lens and the pupil. Light beams will come in from here and they will hit on the retina, which is the back part of the eye. Now, when two light beams come in, they will cross at a point, and that point is where the image will form. And ideally, we want the image to form on the very back of the retina here. So in order for us to see this, we've created a two-dimensional projection of Jordan's eyes here. As you can see, these two laser beams represent two light rays that are going to cross and hit on the back of the eye here, which is called the retina. Okay. Well, in Jordan's vision, they're crossing in front. This is called uh, being short-sighted. Okay. And so uh, the, the lasers are going to cross in front, and the vision is not going to be as clear. Ideally, we want them to cross on the very back of the eye. Now, this is an example of an eye that is far-sighted. Okay. Here, the two light rays are converging to form an image behind the back of the eye. So for Jordan's eye, a pair of diverging lenses is going to, in our model, make the lasers move apart. The angle of the lasers aren't going to move, but they are going to move apart. And as they move apart, you'll see that, the cross, that where the beams cross is getting closer until it finally hits on the retina. After the vision corrections have been made on Jordan's eye here, both of the light rays are converging here on the very back of the retina to form a nice, clean image. So for this eye, the two rays are crossing behind the retina. A pair of convergent lenses is going to make the crossing move forward towards the retina until they cross right on the retina. After the vision corrections have been made, the two light rays are converging on the very back of the retina, creating a nice, clean image.